guys and welcome to another video on my channel. It's a beautiful fall-like day out which I'm very happy. I've got my big comfy sweater on. I also have this sketchbook here. It's got a little Brewster sticker and a Cookie Cats sticker on it. I got them from Redbubble. Anyways, I don't know, nothing really exciting has happened in my life other than I bought yesterday, oh, oh, okay, um, I bought Happy Home Designer, and I love it. I finally got it. I, sh I wanted to get it when it first came out, um, but I, the store I went to didn't have any copies. They were all sold out, which was sad, but I went back last night and finally got it, and it's so cute, and I got my little Sable card, which is so cute. I love it. So I got a little Sable amiibo card. She's one of my favorite characters. I love her and Brewster um, and, and Celeste and everyone. I love Animal Crossing. I have an addiction to Animal Crossing. But yeah, I definitely recommend getting this game. It's just so cute and I love it. So today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit on how to stay motivated, creative, and inspired when, you know, times get tough and you're feeling that burnout or you're feeling, you know, self-doubt or just, you know, kind of, uh, overall, uh, feeling. Um, that was a very attractive face. If you find yourself stuck at a roadblock, go 80 miles an hour over that roadblock. Or kilometers, I should say, because I'm Canadian. Sometimes, like, the best way to approach creative block is to just kind of go over that roadblock and just gun it. As long as you can surpass that creative block and kind of kick it in the butt and just get rid of it as soon as possible, that's okay. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do other things. If you're not good at drawing hands, draw lots of hands. If you're not, you know, good at doing like book layouts, try doing book layouts. Like challenge yourself to do something. Like for me, I'm doing Inktober because it's October and it's Inktober and it's adorable. So yeah, so I mean if, you know, just, just do a challenge. Like try doing a challenge out and see where it takes you because then it's building your skills to accomplish something. Um, and sometimes you just have to kind of do it. You gotta just Shia LaBeouf it. Shia LaBeouf it. Just, just, oh, uh, you know what I mean. Just do it. <laughs> Don't compare yourself to other artists and other people. This one's a big one. And it's hard. It's so hard to do this. I speak from experience. Self-doubt is something that no artist, or anyone for that matter, likes to experience. The internet being an amazing resource and an awesome place where you can find inspiration, you can find like-minded people, but if, if you let it kind of get in your brain and you're looking at all these artists and you're seeing all this amazing work that they're producing and you look at your work and it's like, oh, I mean, my work's not that level yet, you know, that hurts your confidence. It hurts your your ability to create um, because then you're like oh well I'm not even gonna try that I'm not even gonna approach doing that because they did it so much better that's not good <laughs> don't think like that it just really bugs me when I see people um, that don't think they're worthy of that title because they don't think they're at the level of some other person just because you're not at that level doesn't make you like not an artist. The way I look at it is those artists or those people who are where they are, they all started out as a small person who just was doing it. Um, but they grew with it and they practiced and they worked on it and that's the whole thing. Like you have to work on something to make it good. You have to constantly practice or do something to make it even better than where it was. Nobody starts out knowing everything. Everybody's different that way. Um, and you can't beat yourself up over the people who are amazingly good right out of the gates. When someone posts something like on Tumblr or Twitter and I see it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, that's so good, why can't I do that? You have to remind yourself, you didn't see the process behind it. You didn't see their, you know, thumbnails, you didn't see their concepts, you didn't see the 13 different ways that they approached it. You don't know their process, you just see that end result. And 
you don't know, they could have gone through that drawing like 15 times before they got it to where it was. You're just seeing that final amazing super awesome drawing. That's something that you have to kind of learn, that's something that I've had to learn, is like everybody moves at their different pace. Everybody kind of does things in their own way and you can't compare yourself to someone who's 100% different than you are. You have to find your groove, I guess, and you know, you have to find out the way that you work and what works for you. You want to be at that level of skill, but it takes work and it takes time. That's the only it's the only way I can put it is it just takes time. You have lots of time to figure things out and work in a certain style and like it takes time and that's okay. Yeah, so just don't compare yourself to other people. If you take away anything from this video, do that. Don't compare yourself to other people. Just work at your own pace and do it for you. Go outside, read a book, go to a museum, do something not on the computer. <laughs> Listen to new music. Um, that always works. I was listening to a Trent Reznor Nine Inch Nails mashup with a Taylor Swift song the other day. And it's still stuck in my head. And I don't know how I feel about that currently. If you need inspiration, try doing something new. So yeah, if you have any questions or, you know, comments, just leave them down below. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. And don't worry, you'll beat that creative block. You'll be inspired by something. Just go about it a different way and it'll all work out. It'll all work out, I promise. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll be posting most of my uh, Inktober drawings and other drawings there. Um, the links are down below, so if you just want to check those out, that's great. Also, I'll put my Tumblr link down below and just... Those are the three places where I'll be posting most of my Inktober sketches and just sketches and design stuff in general. So if you want to check it out, you're more than welcome to. The door is open. Anyway. Hopefully this video helped you, and uh, I'll see you the next time I post a video. Bye, guys!